So the next portion of the glove is going to be this middle part of your web. So we just relaced this in an eye web, an eye style. So next we're going to be going, have my lace, have my cut end. I'm just going to twist my needle on. All right. So I start up top here, going through. Pretty simple. To the top, need some access, so if I'm going to tie it. And I want to go right from here. If you can see that. Right from here to right here. So you're going to go two laces down. One. So here's one lace, two lace. You're going to go above the top and below the second one. down, try to get behind one of the laces so it sticks in place, there we go, and behind, should be there, So there we go, my lace is through up here and down over here. So now I'm just going to pull this one right through, right through the center, go through, and then so once I'm through, I'm going to go up through the hole. I'm going to be going through this part right here, up, through, so I'm just going to go through here, this part, you'll see why in a second, it's just a little easier to do. Right through, so I just went up above right there, I'm just going to slide the lace down underneath. Tighter now. There we go, that should be tight. All I have to do is go through here. So there we go. That should be that. All I'm going to do is pull this one tight, make sure it's straight. Come through with this one. There we go. So that is all done. And it's going to be a little tighter when I tie this at the end. I'm just avoiding tying it for now so the laces don't get crinkled or wrecked before I finish the glove. All right. See you in the next one. All right, so the last part of the web that we have to do is going to be the top. So just up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off cutting our lace. There we go. Twist on. Okay. So the first thing, we're just going to have to tie a knot, doesn't really matter how big, just depends on the person really. I know some catchers like them longer than others to tug on. So we go, just made a knot, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go right from here. So this lace, this hole right here, so this this knot's here, I'm going to go a little bit behind it, right in here. I'm going to go up and through. So 
tension to go through. And there we go, my knot should hit it at the end, so this is closing it off. This is perfect. Went right through there. And my needle fell off, so I'm just going to put it back on. That happens sometimes. So what I'm going to do, just make sure my lace is straight for sure on this one. I'm going to go right through up here, right through the other side. We got straight lace in there. So there we go, it comes across. And then the next part I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going right through here. So this is where this one's tied in. I'm gonna be going just above it. Going through there, make a loop, come out the other side. Do you see how I did that? Went in there, came out there. So there we go, and when I do, I'm going to put it right back through. And now I'm going to start doing the top of the web. So I'm going to come in here, lace it up. And so what I just did was I went from this inside lace right in there. And I want to twist my lace a little bit. Make sure I'm getting the X. I'm going to go through right to here and out the side. So there I am. So I'm just gonna keep, keep so I'm just gonna continue going through the top in this spiral motion. So keep going. You're gonna skip a lace every time and come out the the same spot every time. So skip a lace and then come in exactly where that one came out. So just like that. So I'll go through this quick, just to kind of show you. I think you guys get the, the point on this one. So with this one, this is going to be the last hole that goes on this side, I'm going to come right out the side. So I did that just right there, come out the side. Come out the side, I'm going to go right in this hole right here. So right in there. Right out the other side. There we go. Make sure that lace is straight. There we go. 
just like that. Came out this side. I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I just did on the other side. I'm gonna come through here, out through this front hole. Go, make sure it's straight. Okay, so that is done. Now all I have to do is come all the way through on the other side. I'm going to keep going through. Go through this one, come out here. Basically, you're just putting it where the holes are now. So it's pretty simple to follow this one. Come across. Okay, so this is the last part of it right here. Go through the last hole. Out here. Boom. I'm through, and now all I have to do is bring it through the middle part and right into the same hole. So I'm right here. I'm going to do bring it through this right here and out the hole on the other side. So now our lace is right through. So it just went from here out this side. All I have to do now is tie a knot on there. So all I'm going to do loop it around I'm going to go pretty slow on this one just so I can make sure I get it. So I have a tight knot. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to cut it off. Right there. Boom. And there we go, that is the full catcher's glove done. All I have to do is tie the laces, and the reason why I do the laces last, so we tie them up last, because if I tie them while I'm working on it, I'm moving the glove around, and it's folding the laces everywhere. So that's why we do this now. Keep them like this, and then after the glove's done, I tie these laces, alright?